most notably nine years ago, that 2014 National Championship side. But he has full faith in his players tonight. With the same 4-4-3, sorry, 4-3-3 approach that they made on Thursday. Steven and Noor on the left, the one to watch. And the new pickup for Virginia as well. A lot of new faces here tonight. But the captain there, number seven, Leo Alfonso, ready here for kickoff. Will certainly look to cement his place in Virginia history this season. It's his third one. And with the captaincy again, he's looking to get this one off to a very quick start at Klockner. And the referee gets us underway for the second match of the regular season here. 15th ranked Virginia. And LMU start off with the ball. And Mo Chiam has just gone down very early on. Maybe an eye issue here. Maybe a contact lens, that's certainly an uncomfortable one. Just delaying the start to this one. LMU there two changes in goal. Simo Pamponi and Christian Ortiz for Trusner. And we just see there the very start. It's him just feeling something on his eye. It's a very painful one. You'd hope he'd be able to get it sorted out and get right back out there. And he will do so. He'll be quickly seen by the medical team. Motsiem, a new arrival as well on the right wing. A transfer from Oregon State. And an exciting player who had his impact last game. Unfortunately, not to grab his first goal for Virginia. But he'll hope he can do so tonight. LMU, get us restarted here. Early ball up top. Aiden O'Connor holds him off. It's a hand ball by the number nine, Ryan Kingsford. And Jovan Prado is just the target man up top today for LMU. They'd love to get a quick start here, just disrupt Virginia. Take a calm approach through Pela here who's held down that holding midfield role. He plays it out to Mangrov with a brilliant flick past his defender. He's on the right wing here. And he spins inside and just loses control. But that is what he's capable of. He came off the bench last week. And Aiden O'Connor just not able to make the tackle here. LMU are in behind, crossing into the middle. And it's Kingsford and it's 1-0. No offside flag. And LMU just over 60 seconds in. Get the opener and put a huge twist into things here at Klockner Stadium. Ryan Kingsford wasn't able to get in on the goals against Michigan last week, but it's just crossed in and he just dispatches it easily. That's an absolute gift. And it was put on a platter for him there. Down the left hand side captaining this side, and that is an absolute dream start for Loyola Marymount. Virginia have a lot of work to do now. Elias Norris down the right. And it just came from Mangarov there in the middle, making things happen. And quite unfortunate to see the ball stray away from him. And the quick counter-attacking play just caught Virginia out, not settled into this game yet. But Steven Anor gets it quickly, and he's flagged for offside. And in the first meeting between these two teams, LMU gets the first punch in. And you just wonder how that will change Virginia's approach to this one. They like to control the game and slowly break down the opponent. But LMU have shown they're not looking to sit back and take the pressure. They're very capable of playing on the front foot here. Fidelic. Back to the center back. Back to Pampino. 
Virginia with the high press. And LMU will just look to break that with the long balls. Aiden O'Connor wasn't able to cut out his man on the left-hand side for the opener. TM looking to get started quickly. He's dropped deeper into midfield. Kingsford's there again. He takes the shot long, and Batruni makes a good save just to tip it over. Ryan Kingsford with a very exciting opening start. Two quick shots on target. And obviously, one of them found the back of the net. This one easily could have as well. Curled effort. Baturni just by the fingertips. The transfer from Coastal Carolina. Coach George Gelnovac said both him and Holden Brown, the goalkeeper who started on Thursday, are clearly pro prospects. They're very talented. And the competition shows here today with the corner for LMU. Back post, it's headed on, and Petruni is there. And Jovan Pardo headed it on, but Petruni was just obstructed there as he tried to clear at the back post. And I believe it was Kingsford there again with Fidelic in the mix. And Petruni is down now, taking a bit of a hit, and that is what you sign up for at times as a goalkeeper. These dangerous 50-50 balls. Pardot just headed on. And it was Knudsen at the back. Virginia able to resume play. O'Connor goes long to Afonso, to Mangarov. Back to Afonso down the line. Anor is far side. Afonso with the early cross. You can't quite reach him. But it's Virginia with blistering pace and a dynamic that they want to build on this year. Last year, they had Philip Horton up top with that number nine, and now it's Steven Anor. A very exciting prospect. A freshman, and already clearly a nailed part of this Virginia team. He trained with the Canadian National First Team and participated in MLS Next Trials but George Gelnovac made it absolutely certain that he wanted him with several visits and approaches. And Stephen Anor would love to get on the goal sheet tonight just to stamp that allegiance to Virginia. It's Aiden O'Connor who heads it on now, wins it for Virginia. Mangarov to Gashi. Back to Mangarov. And Virginia here with Pella in the middle. Just need to avoid some of this early pressure and get some control, but Miller is not able to complete the pass, and LMU can break yet again. Miller winning it back. Looking long, Anor wants to run onto this one. And he's able to win it and get past this man. And he finds Afonso. LMU with last ditch defending here. Afonso beats his man down the left-hand side in the middle. And the ball went out just before he could cross that one in. An end-to-end -end match already five minutes in. Both sides clearly capable of creating chances and getting on the score sheet. This one here tonight certainly won't be a stalemate. And it's Pomponi with the goal kick for LMU. And this would be some result for them if they can hold on to the scoreline as it is against 15th ranked Virginia. Headed on, Norris deals with it towards Anor. Gashi with the sliding effort. And that's Jack Singer in the back, retaining possession. Now Miller on the left, the sophomore. Attacking, making things happen, into Tiam. Who wins it again on the left-hand side. Pella wins the foul for Virginia. And an early free kick in a dangerous area for the Cavaliers. And he looks to just take it quickly. And opts to slow it down here and get a structured set piece in. 
from that wand of a left foot that Danny Mangarov has. We saw the first time effort, the winner against Iona. He'd like to replicate that or get an assist here. Crossed in towards the back post. One on by O'Connor. And that one is just blocked. Norris back into the mix towards Singer. Taken down well by Tiam to Anor, who's maybe not getting the service he'd love down this left-hand side. Just weighted a little bit too heavy. And the grass is definitely a bit more wet. We saw rain in Charlottesville earlier. The ball's gliding very quickly. It's difficult to weigh the passes perfectly, but Mangrove here takes it down. And it's a sliding effort from Pella, and it was a bit of a dangerous one. It's an early yellow. And the studs were shown a 50-50 one. And he gets a caution from the referee. Kingsford, the goal scorer, on the receiving end of that one. And that's a painful one. On the top of his foot there. The studs into it. And a bit reckless. Just signs of frustration from Virginia going down so early in the game that you'd like to control at home. It's not an easy feat to get right back and shrug it off, but that's what they have to do here. Kingsford. Pardo. It was Rodriguez on the left. LMU able to hold some possession here. Against Iona on Thursday, Virginia controlled 57% of the possession and outshot the opponent 24 to four. Will that be the story here today? Virginia maybe just not entirely on the same page, everyone. As Miller fired it in towards Gashi. He was lucky to see the deflection just fall back to Singer. Petruni plays it out to Norris. Gashi finds Miller out wide again. Miller, the trigger for the press here for LMU, but also a player who starts a lot of the attacks on the left-hand side for Virginia. The attacking fullback role in this 4-3-3 formation for Gelnovac. We saw last year he trusted Miller, a freshman at the time, and he likes his fullbacks getting involved and playing those crosses, and that's exactly what Norris does there, and he wins a corner for Virginia. Virginia with 12 shots on target against Iona on Thursday, and they'd love to get their first of the night right here from this corner. TM to take, and they've certainly got targets in the middle. Transfer from Cal, Jack Singer, as well as, of course, the tallest player on this roster, other than the goalkeepers, Aiden O'Connor, number five. And TM looks on, and he plays the short corner. This one might be from the training ground. Tiam crosses it in now towards O'Connor. One by LMU. Pella to recycle. Virginia don't want this attack to end quite yet. Norris into Singer, a very versatile player. He's played forward and midfield for Cal. He's playing center back tonight, but he finds himself on the right wing. Gosh, he crossed in, and then can't connect. And he's offside anyways. Loyola with a new goal score added to their tally for the season. Ryan Kingsford, their only goal scorer in the 1-0 win for Virginia was Daniel Mangarov. 1-1 for LMU against Michigan. They saw Wilson off the bench. And he is on the bench again today. He'd like to make an impact and grab another. Both teams with close contacts. And we see early on in the season, that teams just need time to gel and get chemistry. Defensively, it's possible to limit those goals. But when attacking and just flowing, it's very difficult when two teams are very strong defensively to get on the score sheet. Despite the ability 
of these players. You see, they need time to connect. And this is the perfect platform for Virginia, who you'd think would have gone into this one with the expectations of a win. They've got some difficult ACC opponents coming up. But they're ranked 15th for a reason. They went far in the ACC tournament last year, losing to Syracuse on penalties. They went out in the second round of the College Cup to a very strong Marshall side. They'd love another late run this year. Pomponi under pressure, and he's just not able to connect that one. Virginia's press showing all important so far. And while LMU got to the stronger of starts, Virginia already trying to gain more control in this one. Alfonso. And that's a disappointing throw for TM. Alfonso clearly frustrated by that one. It's a foul throw. And at the D1 level, you don't like to see those if you're a coach. Singer on towards Alfonso, holds off his man. Takes it down well, can recycle. Possession will be key here for Virginia if they can replicate what they did against Iona, but they'll need more than just one if they'd like to win this one. And anything but that for, court, for coach George Gelnovac, you think would be a little bit disappointing, maybe frustrating to start the season. We know it's a long season and one where Virginia can certainly capitalize on their ACC opponents. But this one is just under 15 minutes gone. And we know there's a lot still to play for. Mangarov cut out. LMU dropping a bit deeper now. They can afford to do that. 1-0 up. But Virginia relentless in the crossing towards Norris in the middle. Pomponi cuts it out. And another offside there. And Steven and Norris not happy with the linesman. They just get a caution from the referee. He's drifted offside a few times here tonight. And he'll get a warning for those signs of frustration. Alfonso there just to clear the issue. The third year captain, the Brazilian, yet to get on the score sheet this season. Gashi wins it in the middle. Him and Pella, their connection will be very important tonight, but LMU wins it off of them. Pardo crosses it in. Petruni just able to punch it out. LMU gets it again, and it's two. Tucked away by the number 10, Lewis Clutton. and complete chaos in the Virginia box. A miscommunication, Petruni only able to punch it. Pella not able to get in front, as well as Gashi. And it's a gift for Clutton as well. It falls right in front of him. And he makes no mistake to put that one away. It's 2-0 very early on here. Less than 15 minutes gone and Virginia have a lot of work to do. LMU with three shots and two goals. Virginia with none yet. And it's not the dream debut Joey Petruni would have hoped for. Virginia obviously with a lot of time here and a lot of ability off the bench to make things happen. And Nor just blocked off and rightly called. Knutson just shielding him there on the left hand side. An early worry here at Klockner Stadium. The 15th ranked Cavaliers with a deficit. And a true test of their character now. They can afford to be in this position this early in the season, but it's how they react and respond that will be all important come the postseason, which they hope to be successful in. Norris down the right. Him and Mangrov have been the most busy for Virginia so far in the attack. Not able to connect with Afonso. And Lemieux through Pardo. 
Try to break again, but Pella here attacking for Virginia. And it's a goal score Clinton against Singer. Strong collision there. And miscontrolled. And Clinton is down after that one, understandably. The clash going up for the header. The second goal scorer for LMU. Felt the collision in the knee, but he'll be fine. The line's number 10. And Virginia will just resume play here. And the 9 and the 10 for LMU making the difference thus far. 29 minutes on the clock here in the first half. Gosh, she can't control. We saw Virginia get off to a relatively slow start to their standards against Iona on Thursday. And we see Citron and Visa just warming up. There's difference makers off the bench. We saw that on Thursday. And they look to do the same today. Mangarov takes it down well from Miller. Cuts inside. Can't get the cross in. But his transfer, Elias Norris, plays it back to him. Favorite to Paul Visa on the right-hand side. Mangarov into Tiam. Turns. Wants a foul. But gets back to his feet very well. Mangarov gets the shot now for Virginia. And it's just wide of the post. Their first shot of the day. It's that man again, Danny Mangarov, just cutting in from the right-hand side on his left foot. That's a position he loves to be in. And he does well just to place that one, and it's just wide of the post. It's quite unfortunate. On another day, that's one that he likely scores. Ortiz can't control again. Pomponi not able to connect all of these passes today. And Reese Miller has been very involved for that reason. Pella to Anor. Recycled out. Gashi looks for the switch. Virginia just creating width with their fullbacks. Trying to disrupt this compact shape from LMU. But Clutton sees it again, and he can't control. And Virginia will be relentless tonight. It's how LMU respond. They're already showing a couple signs of fatigue at the back here. Mangrove through to Afonso, and it's a strong tackle <laughs> by Steven Anderson. Both sides with lively attacking displays early on. Connor out to Reese Miller, who's just impeded again by Ortiz. Another set piece for Virginia. Played quickly. Virginia finding himself in a rare scenario, down two at Glockner. Fonzo holding him off. TM dropping deeper into midfield. We saw him more lively in the attack, almost in a roaming attacking midfield role for Virginia today, with Mangarov more down the right-hand side on the wing. An inverted winger, he likes to cut inside, but he plays it to Norris here, who can go wide on his right foot and hold him off. It's easily dealt with by LMU Anderson to Kingsford. Able to shield his man off. Slide tackle by Singer. And the referee calls that one back for LMU. The last time Virginia allowed their opponent to score two goals was against Syracuse in November of last year when they went out in the ACC tournament on penalties.
And it is a completely different atmosphere here with a lot of ground to make up for. We know Virginia haven't used this identical back line combination before. They haven't seen Petruni in goal. And it takes time to adjust to the pressure of being 15th ranked nationally. But if they want to hold on to that ranking, they'll need to get some goals with the time remaining here. 24 minutes to go in the first half. TM. Marked tightly by LMU. Alfonso just trying to get involved. He's been everywhere tonight. Down the right, in the middle. O'Connor to Pella. Singer just headed on, but can't connect. Recycled Cunningham. And Anderson just plays it long to Petruni. He's another touch on the ball, hoping to calm things down after the chaos that ensued for the second goal. Tell them you happy to let Virginia hold on to it with their center backs for a bit. Kingsford stepping up the pressure a bit. The number nine who got the opening goal just over 60 seconds for LMU. Under 60 seconds of playing time due to the early concern for TM who is fit and going now today. He's seen a lot of the ball and the transfer from Oregon. Would like to get his first goal for Virginia tonight. And he'll need to if Virginia want to walk away from this one with a win. Cunningham in the middle. Ortiz. Him and Miller will be a contest to watch down this right-hand side tonight. Singer able to control that one. Took a rather fortunate bounce off of Kingsford. TM dropping deeper. We'll see that with TM and Afonso again and again when they just want to stamp their place on the game a bit more to get involved. It's important as a forward to get some touches on the ball. Build some confidence and some momentum. And just get a feeling for the game. It feels as if you're more involved in play, interlinking, trying to make things happen, which Virginia just can't seem to do at the moment. A couple misplaced passes Definitely sloppier than the Thursday win against Iona. And it was only three days ago now. It's early in the season. A couple tired legs could certainly be seen out there later on tonight as this one goes to 90 minutes. TM with Afonso. Cut out Cunningham in the middle again. Afonso trying to win it back. Relentlessly pressing. You know, concede the foul in the 21st minute. As said earlier, Virginia's last home loss here at Glockner came in October of 2022. But it came against a ranked team, which was Denver, ranked 10th in the nation at the time. If they're able to get two back here tonight, their last home tie was against Marshall in the College Cup in November. TM to Anor. He wants to get more involved in this one. To Afonso. Front three. Interlinking. Trying to build some chemistry. And Afonso with more responsibility as that hold-up striker. Avoid left by Philip Horton. was prolific for Virginia last year and is now playing professionally. It's a similar story at the back for Virginia. Gashi tries to go long. Anor meets it with his head. Taken on very well here. Cutting inside, beating his man, not once but twice, in the middle and takes a shot across goal. And that would have been a special goal for Steven Anor, the freshman. Born in Akragana. And just silky footwork. And Virginia make their first substitution of the night. 
Paul Visa on for Elias Norris. Visa a third year. We saw a lot of playing time for Virginia, both first and second year. Another attacking right back. Norris just favored, maybe with a sharper start to the season, but we know what Visa is capable of. And that is getting involved, getting assists, being a threat from set pieces and corners as well. But Mangarov takes this one for Virginia. Crossed in towards the back post. And Nor meets it with his head. And he ripples off the top of the net. A couple thought that one found the back of the net. And Anor with the most threat for Virginia so far. Just crossed in, perfectly meets him at the back post from Mangarov, and it's just over. And Pomponi didn't look like he would have got to that one if it would have just crept in the top corner there. It would have been out of his reach. And let me you now. Crossfield ball, Petruni will just cut this one out. Quick off his line. As LMU have also made a change. Tiger Smalls in now. The number 11 up top, deputizing for Prado. Singer. Wants to go long. Finds Afonso, who finds Anor. Very well done with the outside of the foot. Anor just can't control that one spinning. It's not easy when those come in. Just rotating against your momentum. Citrin is ready to go as well for Virginia. One of three captains who played all 90 minutes on Thursday against Iona. Another reason he may have been rotated here tonight with Jack Singer coming in to replace him. But he's ready to go and stamp his impact on this one. Miller deftly flicked Pella. He receives it back, finds Pella again. Those two have been interlinking all night. Mangarov in the middle, Virginia with their most promising buildup so far, Visa on the right. Finds Afonso. Back out wide. It's compact defense from LMU. Virginia have to just find their way through. Tiam, and he falls in the box, and it's a penalty for Virginia. Mo Tiam wins it. Intricate play in the box. And that is exactly what can result from opportunities like that, Tiam just gets in front of his man. And it was Nathan Rodriguez who took him down. Virginia with a clear cut opportunity now to cut the deficit. The captain and talisman Leo Afonso would like to kick off his campaign of the 2023 season with a goal. Leo Afonso for Virginia. Slotted away in the left-hand side. He grabs the ball, and Virginia make it 2-1. The comeback is on here at Klockner Stadium. And the captain gets this one underway for Virginia's attack. Leo Afonso just with the stutter step places that one. Pampino had already made his mind up and calm technique from the Cavaliers captain. 2-1 to LMU. Virginia are off the mark. And you just get the feeling that that momentum here at home may mean that's not the only goal they score tonight. But LMU with a quick response. Anderson down the left-hand side. Visa cuts it out. Singer and him just have a bit of a miscommunication and it's an LMU corner, their first of the night. And 2-1 with just over 15 minutes to go. Higher scoring affair than we've seen 
in opening games thus far. In the second of the season, teams are starting to get underway. Back post for LMU. In the middle, flicked on. And just cut out by Singer. Virginia not able to get that one clear, and it'll be another corner for LMU. Anderson to take. Targets back post. Fonzo trying to mark his man. Crossed in with vengeance. One on by Anor. Tiger Small is trying to take on his man. He beats three. And he's not able to cross that one in down the byline. It's a goal kick for Virginia, who made a few substitutions after the goal. Will Citrin slots in, coming in for Aiden O'Connor at center back. He's able to try to make something happen on that right-hand side. Lamb, the number eight, coming in as well for Virginia. Made his debut on Thursday against Iona. And Ortiz not able to get to that one as well. Virginia with another throw down the left-hand side. It's been a recurring trend in this one. They can't find the switch out to Ortiz on the right. And Virginia will punish you if they get those opportunities on the left just to build up play. LMU may be getting a little bit sloppier. They can't lose focus in this one after the early two-goal lead. The deficit has been cut in half. And Virginia, a side very capable of not only cutting it entirely, but actually taking over and getting two more. A lot of time to go in this one, of course. Anor flicks it past his defender, Knutson. Takes on one, spins. Anor still. Lamb. Pella getting more involved here. Strong slide tackle from Anderson. Lamb recycles to Visa. Visa switching to Miller. Left back who loves to get involved in an attack. Overlapping Afonso here. Afonso can get a shot here on target towards Pompino. That one with some movement there was not easy to deal with. And Virginia will win another corner on that left-hand side. Afonso making things happen for Virginia. And Pampino has not had the easiest of days dealing with him. Virginia take another corner short. Back to Tiam. Crosses it in. And it's dealt with. Ortiz clears. Virginia not opting to cross it in from that side, far post, but rather taking it short, something you think they may have worked on in the summer. Citron, Visa. German right back, crosses it in towards Afonso, and it's met, but Mangroff can just let that one go out for another corner for Virginia. Taken quick again. And the referee just stops that one. LMU now starting to catch on. Two men marking Tiam. But it's played to Miller who finds himself free. Back to Mangrove on the left. Just to beat his man. And in a 2v1 <laughs> scenario then he's not able to do so. Tiam who had the foul throw earlier in the first half, just taking his time there, not to concede another one. As a new transfer and experienced player from Oregon, certainly don't want to make your mark with two foul throws early on for Virginia. He did win the penalty, and he was heavily involved in Virginia's lone goal on Thursday. Certainly a key player for this team, another than Maybe that throw, not many weaknesses in his game. Team again, Tapella. 
on his left foot tries to find Afonso, not on the same page. Collected by Massimo Pampino. Afonso just trying to make life harder for the goalkeeper. Virginia now seeing longer spells of possession. They're certainly more in control of this one as TM turns his man and wins a foul. Coach George Gelnovac said for the game on Thursday, they just have to make sure that they're able to build up on defensive restarts and, and play sharp from the get-go. We've seen misplaced passes early on, but it looks like Virginia is growing into this one with confidence. Back heel flick from Pella. Afonso finds Lamb. Afonso down the right, crosses it in towards Anor. It'll be another Virginia corner. And a clear sign of their growing dominance in this one as they make another substitution. Axel Allender, the starter from last week, replaces... Danny Mangarov, who did displace him in the starting lineup tonight, deservedly so, scoring that sublime goal against Iona on the season opener. TM will take this one long again towards Anor at the back post. He gets on that one again. And Virginia will take it from the other side. Anor con connected on the last corner from that right-hand side. Virginia opting to go long on the right and short on the left. Certainly some deliberate choices on these set pieces here as Lamb lines up for another short one. Tiem finds him. Into Miller. Back to Tiem again. We've seen the sequence of play. Miller overlapping. Crosses it in. Lamb takes it down. Visa wide to Miller, taken down well. Afonso tries the back heel flip back to Miller and it doesn't come off. But LMU have nowhere to go. And Virginia don't either. They concede the throw in. That's third substitute for Virginia. Brendan Lamb. Freshman and a key player already in the side in the midfield. He made his professional debut for Virginia. Rather, he made his professional debut in the USL Championship at the age of 15, and now he's making his second appearance for Virginia. Crossed in long, just in front of Petruni. And he already looks like a seasoned veteran in the middle. A key player for Virginia, likely in the coming years. You just wonder when he's going to make his starting debut but seeing significant minutes here already Pampino has to come to cut that one out Ortiz on the right has some space with Anor on his back Anor does well to win that one to Lamb Virginia just want to calm this one down they have 8 minutes left if they'd like to go into half time Without a deficit, they'll need to make something happen. See him dropping very deep, giving Pella more attacking freedom. He started the game as that holding midfield. We've seen that role for Virginia already this year. Interchanging in the midfield is certainly a key theme. Lamb in that position now, almost known as the regista role, a player who drops a very deep and is almost in front of the center backs, not necessarily with defensive input, but just progressing play, allowing the center backs to focus on their defending. Virginia last year opted for a three back setup. Miller goes long to Allender, who can't get on at the end of that one, and it's another Virginia corner. Virginia with a different system here. And a lot of rotation already and flexibility. Virginia make another substitution here. Parker Sloan coming on for Reese Miller. Parker Sloan, the sophomore out of Cartersville, Virginia. Virginia 
without the target man, Andreas Uhland, in the middle. He completed their back three last year as their captain and went to the MLS draft. Virginia with a chance maybe now here to take the corner long for the first time down that left-hand side. We'll see him take it long. He does. He goes beyond everyone far post. Lamb wins the header. Visa collects. Sloan with his first touch of the game, and it's certainly a dangerous one, but it is a foul. And for clarity, that foul there is on Sloan, a coming together with Kingsford. And we just take another look at this one, the two colliding. And you wonder who fouled who there. Kingsford's response indicated he thought he was the one found guilty, but it's the opposite. And for Sloan, it's a start to the match that he would absolutely love another shot at. Just a lapse in concentration as he miscontrolled that pass. And in Virginia's build-up play, that's something you can't afford with a team as strong in the counter as LMU. Anderson standing over this one. Two takers. And he does cross this one back post in the middle. Petruni just able to collect. <laughs> Calmly. Just gaining some confidence in goal. After he was not able to hold on to that one earlier. That led to the second goal. For LMU. And Lewis Clutton. That is the goal. That has made the difference in this one so far. 2-1. Just under six to go. Citron. Tiam, he can get on the end of this one with his pace. Tries to play it in the middle. Anor is there. Just held on here. Tiger Small. But Virginia win it back. Five minutes to make something happen. Virginia reverting back almost to that back three shape here again. Lamb in the middle with confidence. Can't connect, but Afonso wins that one, and it was high tackle and another yellow in this one. Bit of a dangerous one from Anthony Wilson there. The goal scorer off the bench for LMU against Michigan on Thursday. The referee stops this one from being taken quickly again. As the Lions has some substitutes ready to go just to see this one out for the first half. Virginia with five shots to LMU's four. Seven corners. They've had more of the ball here as they like to do, and they did in their season opener. But the goals are what matter. And as of now, that's something they're still looking for in this one. Singer tries to switch. Finds Petruni on his debut, able to get it wide to Sloan, holding off Ortiz. Sloan on a yellow, opts for security. Lamb in that deep, holding six roll. Afonso very deep as well here, trying to get involved in this one. Sloan finds Allender with some space to run into. Anor running in behind, can he get to this one? He can, gets in front of his man, Steven Anor! And it's saved by Pampino, and that one looked absolutely destined for the back of the net. Pampino, incredibly grateful to see that one. Not nestle, but rather just under his leg. It had already gone through his legs. And LMU able to hold on to their league for a bit longer. Kingsford just juggling it. Filled with confidence, getting the opener. Recycles it back, LMU 
trying to build some possession here, but Virginia's press is making that very difficult. Allender wins the header in the middle. And it's deemed a foul. Just trying to jump over Kingsford there. He's taken a few hits today. The tall target man striker. Just looking back at that chance for Steven Anor. Pampino able to find this one just under his legs. Anor gets in front of his man and just tries to slide it. Pampino just as he's sliding. Anor thought that one had already gone in, still looking for his debut goal for Virginia. And did very well to almost grab it there. Ortiz, out to Tiger Smalls. He's taking his space well since coming on. Ortiz down the right, crossing it in, into the middle. Headed on by the goal scorer from last week, Anthony Wilson. Under three to go here. Perhaps a last attack or two here for the home team building up Pella. Visa. Sees the switch, Anor wants it. Opts to play it safe, Lamb plays it on here. We know how dangerous the number nine is here. Anor down the left-hand side, he receives it. Beats one. And it's him versus about five people there in the middle, not able to make something happen. Afonso drifted out to the right wing with TM in the middle now. Afonso's presence was missed on that opportunity. But Virginia will do it all over again. Leo Alfonso, the Virginia goal scorer. Had several opportunities. The contracts that Coach George Gilnovac said didn't quite pan out for professional teams. But he's back here now and he's in a good place. Disappointed at first to not make that step to pro. But he now knows he has one chance to show just how much ability he has. And he has the team to do it. And here he is on the ball trying to flick it on. He's not able to get there. Anderson clears. Afonso scoring that penalty in the lone goal for Virginia. A servant to the Virginia soccer program for quite a while. He's in the middle here, Pella, out to Visa. And another miscommunication on that right-hand side. One that Virginia can't afford with under 60 seconds to go. If you're Loyola Marymount player here, you're looking at the clock and thinking, how can I just drag this one into the half with a lead? Head coach Kyle Schmidt in his second year, juxtaposing the long-term experience of George Gaunovac. But he's the one on top of this chess match here today so far. He's the son of former MLS coach Sigi Schmidt and the brother of Kurt Schmidt, the technical director for Real Salt Lake in the MLS. No pressure uh, to be involved in soccer in that family. Visa tries to play it on. 40 seconds on this one. Anor trying to spring this one last attack for Virginia. Time isn't on his side though. And LMU will just look to clear this one towards Petruni. It'll be something special if they can get this one up. Just being urged on by the crowd here. Clock is running. Here at Klockner. And it's thumped forward by Singer, met by Ortiz. And that will all but do it here in the first half for Virginia at Klockner Stadium. LMU go in with a halftime lead and a lot of work to do for the Cavaliers, both sides. With sit
we are back underway here in Charlottesville. Virginia with a lot of work to do in this half. 2-1 down against Loyola Marymount. The Lions made it 2-0 early on through their two recruits from the UK, Kingsford and Clutton. The number nine and the number 10, the marquee transfers for LMU and two players that are interlinking already now, Clutton. And to make something happen in the box, Citron just gets it clear to Sekulius, who subbed in for Virginia at the half. A couple fresh faces on the field for the Cavaliers. Ignacio Alem, the freshman up top as well. The captain and goal scorer for Virginia, Leo Alfonso, just with a bit of a rest to start the half. Allender can't find Visa. Anderson cuts it out. Continued on that left-hand side. Anderson crosses it in. Not met in the middle. And this is exactly how LMU started the first half with a very early chance, just 60 seconds in. They cross it in down the left. And it was found at the back post by the number nine, Ryan Kingsford. He's one to watch in this second half from Hearn Bay in the United Kingdom, a graduate student who Coach Schmidt said he's very excited to watch this season. He looked forward to these performances from the nine and the 10, and they've certainly delivered tonight. It would be an unbelievable result for this LMU team, but they have to stay disciplined and they concede the foul there to Virginia. Sekulius, Alem, and another one on the field, Triton Beauvoir for Virginia. Team able to just cut that one out. Singer has played the entirety of this one so far. It's his starting debut for Virginia. The transfer from Cal Visa. Just fouled on the ankle there. LMU Bench is not happy about that call. He was obstructed trying to play the pass forward towards Allender. We see here just yeah, Prado just on his back foot, and you can't complain about that one. Nothing Visa can really do more trying to play that pass when he's been stepped on. Virginia build up quickly here. Visa is in a wide position, hobbling a bit after that knock. Citron ops to the other side. Miller back on for Parker Sloan. Interlinking well, cuts inside, TM. Virginia holding on to this one early. Retaining that possession, something they weren't able to do at the start of the first half. Beauvoir, not able to make something happen. Visa clashing with Anderson here, who wins the duel. He's been a bright spark for LMU tonight. Trying to find Kingsford Long, and it's a well-weighted pass cut out though by Singer. The tall number 27, Allender, out wide towards Visa. Another collision with Anderson. Those two had it very early on in this half. Clutton able to get it wide to Prado, and this is where LMU are dangerous on the counter. Beats his man well. Prado cross to the back post and cut out. And a sliding last ditch block by Jack Singer. But Truni, happy to see that one just fly over his head off the top netting, and that one would have troubled him. And a sliding karate kick block by the transfer from Cal. And a highlight real defensive play for Virginia. 
But Jovan Prado did very well to create that opportunity. LMU looking more dangerous than they did at the end of the first half. Reminiscent of their early bright start to this one. Anderson taking his time, trying to make use of this valuable corner opportunity. And the referee will just go over and caution a member of the LMU bench before this corner can be resumed. Anderson over this one. Curls it, far post, finds his man and headed over. Okay. By Braden Knudsen. And the LMU bench, just a bit too loud for the referee's liking tonight. Arguing a couple of calls early on, warranting a yellow. As Virginia build up now. A fiery start to this half. Both teams certainly want to go for it. And there's more than just emotional aspects at stake here. This is the regular season and both teams would love to get a win on their records. Virginia with one. And LMU with just a tie. But they've looked the brighter on the attack in this half so far. Singer happy to clear that one out. Allender. Seculius on the left hand side. Freshman on them won the header, not able to land on his feet. Pomponi. Starts the attack for LMU. One back by Visa. Pomponi, the LMU goalkeeper, made that crucial save at the end of the first half to deny Virginia a second. Through Steven Anor, who's not on the field at the moment. You'd expect him to come back in and make an impact. Against tired legs, he's incredibly dangerous. Down that left-hand side. And he's already made his presence felt tonight. Against Christian Ortiz. LMU right back. See him in the middle. Dropping ever deeper in this one. Getting more involved and doing very well there. He's getting those touches in the midfield. Lamb. Visa takes some space. Relentless pressure from Anderson. Those two at it all evening. Singer, who made that crucial block, gives it to TM again. UVA can get wide now. Alem, Beauvoir in the middle. Sequoias takes it himself. Alem trying to win the header. Allender is there as well in LMU box. It's in the area of uncertainty. Pomponi able to just punch that one out. It seemed a foul on Virginia there. Alem isn't sure where the foul occurred. But a break for the Lions. Under some pressure, just under 10 minutes in to the second half. Virginia rearing their substitutes already. Pomponi taking his time for the goal kick. Taken down well by Prado. Anderson not able to connect to an attacker. Citron, one of three Virginia captains, plays this one long. Allender is penalized for the handball. The referee is not allowing these quick free kicks today. It slows this one down in what has been an end-to-end -end start to the second half. Pardon. 
a little frustrated at that one. But the Lions matching Virginia, if not surpassing them so far in this one. On the night, they've surpassed them. And on the scoreboard, they're up by one at the moment. With plenty of time to go, Ortiz versus Miller. With a body faint. Him and Nutson have been interlinking all night. Rodriguez wants it, and he gets it on the left. But it's well done by Alem to win the slide tackle. Bouvois with pace on the end of this one. Alem running in behind, and they can't connect. But Virginia win a throw. Rodriguez is down after that one. Just feeling it in the hip. The LMU number 24. Clearly in pain. And an opportunity for them now to make their first substitutions of the half. O'Keefe Cunningham raring to go. Virginia resume play. Hollander holds off his man, does well. Finds Diem. Miller on his favored left foot. Him and Sekouli is an interesting dynamic down that left-hand side. Two who don't often play together, but are rather like for like. Replacements, Visa. Finds Hollander, tries to cross it into the middle. And I'm only able to deal with it out for a corner. Virginia building the pressure with a short corner here as they've done several times tonight already. Hollander creating space. Gets the shot into the middle through the legs of Rodriguez who's back on now after that knock a few minutes ago. Miller to Citron. Cleverly flicked back to him. LMU pinned back here. Virginia looking to cut the deficit. Visa into the middle. Clutton, the second goal scorer, breaking now for LMU on the counter where they've been so dangerous tonight. Prado on the left, created their best chance of the second half. He beats Visa, gets it into the middle. Clutton, blocked again by Singer. Another shot in. And LMU not able to capitalize on that one. Petruni, it's his Virginia debut. He'd love the focus to be taken away from the two goals conceded. Urges his players just to get up, to spring the attack from the back on the goal kick. The Virginia transfer from Coastal Carolina. Beauvoir wins it in the middle, Alem. Taken down. Watch holding off his man, showing strength from the number 15. That gets the crowd going. Beauvoir not seen in the first half, but an exciting player, a second year. Who got a lot of minutes last year and wants to build on that. Gets the ball again, not able to control it, but he'll track back. It's Prado. Jerwan Prado. Weaving, but Citron cuts him out. TM very deep now for Virginia. Been instructed, seemingly in this half, just to pick up the ball and make things happen. Add some excitement and a creative spark to Virginia's midfield. Lamb in the deeper role. 
Plays it on to Citron and Visa, who turns his man. Anderson, not able to cut that one out. It's a clever turn by Rodriguez. Visa there again, and it's a match of pinball at the moment. Clutton sees some space in front of him now. In the middle, he takes the shot on, and Petruni meets it. Out to Citron. And it's a foul from Braden Fidelic in the middle. But the LMU number 10, Lewis Clutton, has been very dangerous in this half, leading the counterattacks. The recruit from the United Kingdom grew up in Newport and went to the Cardiff Metropolitan University. He's only a sophomore. Him and Kingsford, their relationship will be crucial this season. They look dangerous so far this half, something Virginia will certainly have to try to address. I'm sure that they discuss that at the interval, but they're still posing that threat. Build up now for Virginia. Allender tries to find Miller through. Not enough zip on the pass. Visa with a chance to cross. He's at Allender and just can't find his man in the middle. Alem the freshman, not on the same wavelength. Substitutes for Virginia getting ready. Several different faces already getting involved in this second half. Citron sees it out for a goal kick. And there are those substitutes. Two starters coming back into the play. Leo Afonso and Danny Mangarov for Beauvoir and Inacio Alem. Youth coming off, experience coming on. Virginia's talisman. And the two goal scorers for them this season so far. Mangarov, who scored in their season opener. And Afonso, who scored the penalty today. Hoping to make something happen here. 30 minutes to go and work to do for the Cavaliers. Afonso to Miller, instant impact. And let me win the throwing. Rodriguez deals with it with his head, only as far as Visa. Coming together. Several players here. This game just getting ever physical. The duels in the middle. And every player is absolutely fighting for this one as Anderson loses a shin pad running through. Cunningham wins the foul. And lines with a set piece here and a chance to attack. Anderson on the favored left foot. He's been on corners and he'll be on set pieces for the Lions tonight. If he can find a header at the back post, it could be a nightmare for Virginia. 28 to go, cross into the middle. Meets his man as far as Fidelic. Plays it into the middle. Virginia able to just deal with that one and get rid. Only as far as Ortiz. And Pomponi bolsters another attack. Prado not able to meet that one. The theme of the half so far is hold up play on these headers. Cunningham with the footwork. Cut out by Visa and wins the corner for Loyola Marymount again. Momentum just shifting in their favor yet again in this half. Several dangerous chances so far. They've gotten the better of Virginia in terms of shots. They have 10 on the day. 
to Virginia's eight, both with four shots on target. They'll look for another right here. Anderson delivers into the middle. Cleared out. And a foul. Relief for Virginia on that corner. They cannot afford to concede another if they want to look for this win here tonight. 27 to go and 2-1 to LMU. Afonso up top. He's had several defenders assigned to him all night. They know he's the talisman. He's the one to mark. And other than the penalty kick, he hasn't been able to get those lethal shots on target. Mangarov dropping deeper on the right now. A difference maker in their first game. Cuts inside. I am able to recover. Virginia, no, they can't afford to lose it here and get countered on. And while there haven't been as many goals in this half as the last, it's certainly been an entertaining affair between these two teams who have never met in their long histories. And want to set a precedent today. Allender wins the header. Afonso takes it down. Not able to control. Allender again. Finds Mangarov on his left foot. He likes to be in these positions. Sekulia sees the ball again. He hasn't seen much of it this half. The number 22. But he makes something happen here. Lamb. Allender. Afonso in the space. Visa out wide. Crossing specialist. Lamb beats man. Gets the shot off. Not able to get it on target. But Virginia will go again. Paul Visa. Ops to switch. Virginia spreading the play here. Clever touch by Singer. He's had several important actions for Virginia tonight in the back line. They're not able to find Reese Miller in behind something they haven't been able to do all half. And he's an attacking option despite playing left back that they like to target as they try to find him again. And Ortiz meets it with composure. Miller sees the ball here, however. Just not as advanced as he would like to. Alfonso in the most space he's seen this afternoon. He's out wide and he runs into space here. He can find Alfonso and he does so. Tries to turn his man. Miscommunication with Mangarov, but he recovers. The Virginia captain on the ball now. He's not able to retain possession for the Cavaliers. And that allows LMU to slow things down and make a couple substitution. Ryan Kingsford returns to the field. The early goal scorer in what is undoubtedly the quickest goal he has scored in his career. Tiger Smalls returns to play as well for LMU. Alfonso now on it again. Mangarov. Not able to connect with his man. Finest of margins that Virginia can't capitalize on here. LMU not giving them much space to work with in the middle. Miller. Striding run down the left. Sekulius tries an early cross, not able to connect. Lamb again. He's seen a lot of the ball this half. He's been trusted, the freshman, to continue on the field. Singer 
able to stride forward. He's played in the midfield and up top before. Sekulius tries to find Afonso. Clever pass not able to meet him though. Visa inverting more and more into this midfield. Mangrov keeping the width. Virginia favoring this right hand side on their attacks. But LMU just doing very well to stay compact and not give them that space. It's Afonso isolated here and he likes to be in those positions. Him and Visa interlinking plenty this half already. Lamb the facilitator in the middle. Virginia urging their players forward. They've only got two back at the moment. As they look to capitalize here, Afonso into the middle. Not able to receive the ball. Kingsford takes it down. He wants to spurt a counterattack. They just run out of play again by the Virginia number four. And it's the Virginia bright spark from the first half. Steven Anor returns to the field, the freshman from Ghana. And the star-studded left winger hoping to get his first goal for the Cavaliers. Came as close as one can without scoring, quite frankly, in the first half. Pomponi with a brilliant save, albeit a bit of luck, which you need at times coming up against an attacker like him, and they try to find him straight away. Steven Anor headed down. Allender takes it down. Finds Lamb in the middle. Space to Afonso. Tries to find Lamb again. It's Afonso here, in behind. Cuts inside. Finds Lamb. Allender at the top of the box and blocked. Virginia with one of their most promising attacks of the second half so far, but LMU break here. As Citron deals with it well. The possession all in the favor of the Cavaliers for the last five to 10 minutes. Mangarov on the right now. Wants to sustain pressure, cuts inside on his left foot. Afonso in behind. And just not able to get to the end of that one, but promising signs for Virginia, 20 minutes. And from their point of view, two goals still required to be satisfied with this one tonight. Miller cuts it out. And wins the duel with Ortiz. Afonso just trying that outside of the foot flick on as he did several times in the first half to Anor. Risky pass, but well executed by Pomponi. Down the line, Kingsford can't get there. Citron, the substitute, and one of three Virginia captains has been all over him since coming on tonight. As Visa makes way for Elias Norris, who started this game at right back. The transfer from George Washington out of Bethesda, Maryland. Returns to the field with a lot of attacking threat. He likes to get wide, him and Mangarov Combined early on in the first half of this one. Head coach in his 28th year, George Gelnovac, looking to make use of that partnership. Loyola on the break here. Cut out by Singer and Miller again, but they retain possession. Here's Kingsford. And he's all over that front line, just not able to find Ortiz. Kingsford. The hardest worker undoubtedly on the field here tonight for LMU. He's everywhere. He's up top, he's on the left, he's on the right. He scored the opener. And he's their target in every attack so far. Virginia spread the love. They've been trying to find all of their front three today. Head coach George Gilnovac said that they've got one of the most stacked rosters in terms of depth they've had for a while. But can they translate that to results? And so far they haven't tonight. Ortiz running forward. The Lions just retaining a bit of possession. More deliberate buildup. And you have to say they've done very well so far to keep this result as it is. As the clock winds down 18 minutes and counting. 
And as they play at the back, it's shifting in their favor more and more. Rodriguez, that's Tiger Smalls, also from the UK, and striding forward, he's been strong tonight. Gets the shot on target, Petroni deals with it. And rolls it out to Lamb. Who's commanding the buildup from the middle. Made his professional debut at 15 years old. A testament to his leadership ability and physical strengths despite only being a freshman. A bright prospect for Virginia. But LMU on the break here. Shot off and blocked by Singer again. And another corner for the Lions. And it's the number 23 who got that shot off. Gail Quintero, the substitute who saw his first minutes here in the second half. Another cross to be taken by another substitute, Tyler Trusner. On the left foot. To the middle. And an overhead attempt. Not on target there. An audacious attempt. And Virginia make another change. As Umberto Pelo comes on for Lamb. A like for like switch playing in that role in the middle. He goes straight to the goalkeeper. He's happy to just take that one off him and build the attack. It's clear that that's what co head coach George Gelnovac wants to do this season. That's how they looked against Iona. Rather than giving the responsibility to the center backs in the buildup, which they saw last year. And Kingsford on it here. Looks to get a shot off or played wide to Ortiz, who crosses it back in. Cunningham, Smalls. On the left-hand side, sees an overlap, cuts inside, blocked out for another LMU corner. That's their 12th shot of the day. Make it 13. And the attack's coming down this left-hand side for them so far this half. That's where they scored their opening goal. And they have absolutely no problem jogging over to slow this one down and make use of another set piece being 2-1 up with 15 to go. Chosner again. Ping to the back post. Petruni can't deal with it. It fell to Kingsford who couldn't get his foot on the end of that. It's a slide tackle out for an LMU throw. An ecstatic reaction from Rodriguez, who was able to just win that one for his team. Shows what it means to these players. A nationally ranked opponent would be a huge win in their history. They're showing very bright signs this season already. Their incomings have made a difference. They were with the draw against Michigan at Ann Arbor, which is no easy feat. Head coach Kyle Schmidt in his second year. Showing signs of improvement every single game that goes by. Another corner here for LMU. Targets at the back post. Callum Stretch, the tall center back at the front. Trusner to deliver. Crossed in, it goes far, it's headed on. And we're just able to deal with that one. And the attempt is well off target there. From Gaia Quintero. Kome Obogu substituted on for Virginia. Him and Alfonso combined for the most goals for Virginia last year. He's their joker. He's the man they look to to grab those goals and make the difference late on in games. He was able to do that last year. 
Elias Norris and Pele just feeling Knox. The intensity has been there all night from LMU. They're certainly not making this one easy for Virginia, and it's a mistake by Citron. And it's Cunningham running through. He gets a shot off, and he's just dragged wide. It's another breath of relief for Virginia. An uncharacteristic mistake from the captain, the center back, Will Citron. And not the sharpest of nights from these Virginia players out wide, Elias Norris. They have to make something happen quick. And a foul one, and it will be a yellow card issued to O'Keefe Cunningham. He's been up and down all night for LMU, putting in both attacking and defensive shifts. Afonso now wavers to play it wide. Norris takes his men on 1v1, down the line. Very well done by the new transfer. Into the middle to Abogu. Now Tiam gets a chance to shoot. And dragged wide on his weak left foot. Virginia's brightest chance in 10 minutes. With 12 to go, they need that bit more. Just another look at that chance from OTM. Gets it in a favorable position. Just not able to get the curl he wants. The idea was clear, but he can't trouble Pomponi. Citron wins the header. And let me answer. Cunningham again. He's been everywhere the second half. He's done very well there again. Stretch. Tiger Smalls on the left. Been very advanced today. Trying to find Kingsford. Singer just able to get the touch on that one. Slow, deliberate buildup again. Virginia will need to show some urgency as this one dwindles down. Gunnovac clearly trusts this group. And knows there's still time for them to make something happen. Through Leo Alfonso here in the middle. Collects. Wide to Mangrove, who finds himself on that left-hand side now. Looking for space, which he didn't get much of on the right. In the center, he was the difference maker in Virginia's last match. If he gets a shooting opportunity in the middle with just 10 minutes to go, he has to capitalize as Afonso loses the ball and fouls Kingsford. Frustration from the Virginia captain. He leads by example, he'll be disappointed despite the goal tonight if he can't lead his team to a win. I love you taking their time to get up the field. They'd like another to cap off this comprehensive performance. Singer is up to the task. Bogo in the middle. It's a leap from Callum Stretch on a Bogu, and that was a dangerous collision. It's difficult to say either was particularly at fault there. It's unfortunate how they both ended up, Stretch just going into him and it is quite dangerous. Abogu already leaning downward. And the Virginia players asking the referee what the call is here. And he'll designate a drop ball. Kings for trying to get on the end of that one. He's just trying to give Virginia possession back after the potentially dangerous collision with a Bogu, luckily, no hit to the head. 
and he's able to get back on his feet just fine. Pella, Citron, striving forward now. More urgency from the Cavaliers. LMU happy to sit back in this 4-3-3 compact formation that has been so successful for them thus far defensively. Norris strides forward. Trying to find Afonso. And the chemistry, the connection is not quite there. Cunningham wide to Kingsford, and this is where they're dangerous. Singer holding on to him. The foul is brought back to the halfway line for LMU. Taking their time yet again. Rodriguez up towards Kingsford. Wins it on. And that's all he can do. But Truni collects again. Virginia opting to go wide with some pace here. Unlike they've done through the middle. Nor takes on his man with pace. To Mangarov on the left. Plays it into the middle and cut out well. And a slide tackle that was quite rash in the middle there. Another yellow card will be issued for LMU. Dangerous collision, tackles flying in everywhere this evening. The full intensity of the regular season, if it wasn't here already last week, it certainly is now. Six yellow cards already issued tonight. And eight minutes to go. A couple players have to be careful here. Smalls comes off for Prado. Both of them have been forces up front for Loyola. Marymount sitting back defensively. Everyone back for them on this Virginia set piece. Mangarov. Stands over it, crosses in on his left, finds Citron, but just over him. The ball just grazes the top of his head. It's back out to Norris. Virginia getting numbers up. They don't have much time left. And the clock is ticking here at Klockner. Alfonso deeper. Just a sea of light blue shirts in front of him. Miller out wide now, crosses it in towards Ibogu in the middle. And it goes out for Loyola Marymount. Goal kick. And you must say it's, it's a deserved lead for LMU so far. But a bit of time wasting. And Rodriguez gets another yellow card. Seven issued now. And while they have been on the back foot for quite a bit of this game, they've made their chances count, LMU. They've gotten 15 shots on target. They took an early 2-0 lead, and they've done well to hang on to it. Virginia, a prolific team attacking-wise. It would be a remarkable win for LMU here. They haven't lost when scoring two goals since 2018. If that's any indicator of how this one will end here. And at this point, Virginia may just be playing for a tie if they can get anything at all. Trujillo sees it out. Pela on the throw. Crucial six minutes left in this one. Citron already wavering to go long and it's cut out the LMU number three, Mangarov, deeper. Virginia players dropping ever deep in frustration. Abogu, the target man, remains up top. He can be trusted to get a goal in this one, but it's a mistake by Petruni. He's not able to find Norris. Now Cunningham in the middle, LMU can break. Kingsford in the middle, gets the shot in, and it's in for three. It's a brace for the number nine. And it's the finishing touch 
for LMU, who have all but ended it here at Klockner. An upset. And the LMU Lions find themselves 3-1 up against number 15 ranked Virginia. Kingsford makes no mistake, just dispatches that in the bottom right hand corner. Petruni rooted to his line. And the transfer from the United Kingdom with a man of the match display. Two goals. And he's been absolutely clinical today with just under six left to go on the clock. Frustration, disappointment on the faces of the Virginia players, but it's a long season. And if they're going to take a loss and get a wake up call, it's early to get one now. The second game of the regular season a lot of soccer left to be played. A testament to LMU's ability and potential for this season in the West Coast Conference. They're continuing this one if the result stands undefeated. A draw against Michigan and a win against Virginia. It's not too shabby at all for the Travelers from Los Angeles. Two games on the road in unfamiliar environments. And they deserve a lot of credit for this one. Virginia, however, sending bodies forward. It's not over until the clock reads zero. With the ability these Virginia players have, the technical skill on display, the new transfers that are brought in, we know it's inevitable that they get goals and that players get on the end of it. They haven't had luck tonight. But a clever turn in the middle. And they're gonna try to make some of their own luck with little time to go. Mangarov, Afonso. Cesar Cardova came on for Virginia, the number 13 in the middle with the clever turn. He receives it now. His first appearance. Reese Miller chips it in back post towards Afonso again, dealt with. Norris is there. Can he get the cross into the middle? He can. The Prado can just break. Citron with the tackle. He's done very well to win a throw there for Virginia. Is there enough time? They would need two goals in very quick succession, the Cavaliers here. Singer, the only one left at the back. Citron looks long. Afonso is able to take this one down. It's just discipline defending again by Rodriguez. Cordova. Virginia have nowhere to go. I see light blue bodies at the back. Mangarov crosses it in towards Abogu and Anor, and nothing comes of that one. It's under four to go. LMU feeling good about this one. Mangarov through again and cut out by Braden Knudsen. Mangarov. His favored left foot again. Another cross into the middle. Abogu's there. Anor wins that one. Can't find anyone. Cordova out to Norris. Can he cross it into the middle? It goes far back post and it's beyond everyone. And the transfer from George Washington will be disappointed with himself on that one. LMU bench. The loudest noise here at Klockner Stadium. Three minutes to go on the clock. Pomponi takes his time. And they win a foul. Loyola Marymount tonight with a great performance against a ranked opponent. A result not many people saw coming. But the epitome of college soccer shown 
Anything can happen. And it's a penalty kick to Loyola. And LMU won by Prado on Norris. And they have a chance to embarrass Virginia here. 3-1 up already. Prado walks over. He wants this one. They have a chance to make it four here. With the icing on the cake. And Jovan Prado on the penalty kick. And it's saved by Petruni, and he makes the second save. Hope. If there was any left for Virginia. And no fault to the taker. Petruni. with at least one good memory from his Virginia debut, the penalty save after conceding three. And you can't fault him for much of what's happened today. LMU clinical until that moment. But there's simply not enough time left here. Less than two to go. Pela. Virginia looking for a consolation. Afonso on his left, blocked. A disciplined performance once again. Callum Stretch, Braden Knutson, these center backs in the middle for Loyola just constantly cutting things out and winning those physical duels. And it's Prado again on the break who drew the penalty. And he doesn't need urgency. But the collision between him and Pella who springs to his feet. Virginia want to throw everything forward. Norris down the right again. Too temperamental. Virginia taking too much time to form this attack. And we're in the last 60 seconds of play here at Klockner. The last time Virginia even allowed three goals was in a 3-0 loss at Wake Forest in November of 2021. And with 20 seconds to go, it's the last attack for Virginia. It's well dealt with again by Prado. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, and that will be it here at Klockner Stadium. Two, one. The buzzer rings, and LMU, Loyola Marymount storm the field, winning 3-1 here in Charlottesville. It's Virginia's first home loss since October of 2022 against a ranked Denver. And this is an unranked opponent here, Loyola Marymount, but they didn't play as if they were unranked today. A commanding performance from the Lions. And credit where credit is due, Virginia have plenty of work to do. That will conclude this one. Thank you for tuning in to ACC Sports Network. Good night.